Hi everyone, um, this is a, a very special unboxing video um, which I'm attempting to do on my new smartphone. Uh, I've never had one of these things before, uh, so please excuse me if I wobble about a bit with it. Um, now, um, I've been sent two boxes of, um, well, miniatures, I guess. I, I, I'm, I'm going to unbox them and, and, and have a look. Um, it's really blown me away. I, I don't know, if those who have seen my previous video, remember I was um, having a bit of a ramble about how um, I want to do a colonial project. And I'd sort of, um, after looking at prices and thinking about how much money I had, to spend, um, I sort of thought, well, I might have to go the 20 mil route um, rather than 28. Um, but I was contacted by a fellow commission painter, um, James, um, in England, and um, who has a fantastic YouTube channel, which I'd encourage you all to um, subscribe to, um, called Exiles Painting. Um, I will try and edit this and put a link in in the notes to his channel. But James, out of the blue, said, would you like some colonial miniatures? Um, I've got some here. I'm not using them. Um, and um, they're sort of surplus to requirements. And I said, oh, wow, yeah, sure. Um, I'd like to, you know, um, what, 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 you know, how can I compensate you for this sort of thing? And I said, well, he said, oh, no, you know, I'm giving them to you. And I said, well, you know, at least let me pay the postage. But he said, no. So, um, like others of you have, have mentioned from time to time, we're just blown away by the generosity of um, fellow war gamers. Um, my wife picked up the parcels this morning from the um, village post office and um, here in Tasmania, where we live. And um, I was amazed by how much, you know, that just the, the weight and uh, the cost of postage. I mean, in Australian dollars, it was sort of something equivalent like, I don't know, $120 worth of postage. So and thank you so much, James. I'm blown away by your, your generosity. And um, it's been good. I've been able to um, actually talk with James um, via Discord. Um, we were able to have a chat and... He's a commission painter, um, and um, so we we have a, a bit in common, and uh, it's lovely to be able to chat. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to I haven't actually opened these. I've just scribbled over my address. Um, not that I think anybody <laughs> is going to come and turn up on my doorstep, and uh, where I live anyway. <laughs> but. Um, yeah, so I, what I'm going to try and do, I've got the um, smartphone on one of these bendy kind of rubbery tripod things. And um, I've, I've had a change of desk. Um, that's sort of another long story of things that have been going on lately. Um, I've been trying to help my old dad out who um, hasn't, he's not very well and he's having to move house, he and my stepmother, uh, to a... Um, house with a lot less garden to manage and um, sort of closer to her daughter to, you know, because she has health problems as well, stepmum, and get, you know, to get support and for my, you know, helping her look after dad. And and so, yeah, I've been helping dad um, where I can and spending extra time with him and um, trying to sort out his um, his garage and the stuff he's got in there. And, and amongst it is, was a couple of old pieces of, furniture that had just been sort of sitting at the back of the garage but that I remember as a kid quite fondly as um, one is my dad's um, old roll top desk which he used to have his typewriter at and type newsletters and different things with his various interests and involvements and um, and also he made um, model plane kits at it. Uh, I remember him building a 124, the 124th scale um, airfix Spitfire and uh, for instance and um, yeah, and there was a sort of across the top of the desk was a sort of series of 
model aircraft that he'd built, you know. Um, and the other thing was his old bookcase, um, which is like a glass fronted door bookcase, um, all sort of hardwood, dark wood. Um, but yeah, I used to love looking in that old bookcase and all these various books, you know, books on the Old West and World War Two and things like that. So there's a lot of fond memories with that. Um, yeah, so it's been an interesting time. So it's a real, uh, it's a been, it's a real treat to get these parcels from, from James. It's just wonderful, it really is. Um, so I'll see if I can coax this. Um, so do pardon me while I, I try and manipulate the phone so that it looks down upon the desk surface, um, in order to see what's in these boxes because I don't know myself. It's exciting. Okay. Hold on a minute. Okay. Okay. So, I hope that's okay. And I hope the sound's coming out all right. Well, do I need my lights? Pow, maybe. Let's see. <laughs> we'll see how we go. Um, right. I've transferred some of my hobby stuff into this desk, most of it, but um, I'll just get a knife. And... Here's the first box. Pretty big. <laughs> There's two boxes, because there was so much stuff that um, James put it in two boxes. So I might stand. I might stand up <laughs> to do this. Um, those who who may notice uh, that it's got my name on it, and my name isn't actually Jack. <laughs> I, I, I did the the whole Jack Sarge thing is a is a play on my name, really, um, as a sort of a thing on um, social media, you know. To I don't know. Just my tag, as it were, and what I've ended up calling the, the painting thing and all that. But yeah, my uh, Jack was actually, um, well, my great uncle was called Jack, and I believe my great grandfather was called Jack, who um, they called him Jack. He was in, uh, in the First World War, which we've been remembering just recently, his Remembrance Day and everything. Okay, what have we got here? Right. Okay, oh, it looks like I've got it upside down. Oh my goodness. Ah, look at that. Wow, okay. Let me just get this. This, is this really what? Oh, let's see. Zulu, Black Powder Zulu Starter Army. <gasps> Cowabunga. Look at that. <sighs> oh, there's a rifle. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at all these Zulus. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So there's... What does it say on the lid? I assume that's... Cool. 60 plastic married Zulu warriors, 60 plastic unmarried Zulu warriors, one mounted Induna, one Zulu runner and one witch doctor. Zulu starter army. Far out. Wow, so that's just all sprues right to the bottom of the box and there's some sort of... Oh, what's that down there? Oh, they, yeah, didn't they make these in conjunction with Empress miniatures? Oh, I think they must have done. Wowzers. And this, oh, oh, hello. What's this? Heavy metal. Oh, that's right, you mentioned that as well. He's put in a hole. This is a, this is, oh my goodness. This is a, um, this is virtually a whole saga army here. <laughs> a whole Scots um, saga army warband. I forgot he said he was going to put that in as well. 
<laughs> wow, all those Zulus. I'm alive. You see, now I said to James, oh, I'm not a huge fan, fan of putting plastics together and, and, and plastic figures, but he said, well, he was going to part with them anyway. And, um, and they, they look pretty easy to put together. And I said, oh, go on. Go on then. <laughs> so I didn't realise there was this many. It was a whole starter a set like of the Zulus. That is amazing. Mind you, you need thousands of them, don't you? Thousands. Um, oh, wow. So there's a... All oh, right, these are the extra metal figures, the, the mounted commander... Etc. Wow, okay. And a whole... <sighs> Scott's Warband. Wow, this is... He knows I'm into my Dark Age stuff as well. I have actually painted um, this Warband before... Oh, I'm pretty sure I've painted this Warband before for a mate in Tasmania as a, as a commission. Fantastic. Wow. Thank you so much, James. Right, that's the first box. So that, I've got a general idea of what's in there. There's a lot of Zulus in there. Plus a whole Scots Warband. Dark Age Scots Warband. Okay, right. There's another box. Bear with me. <laughs> Gosh. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. This one's smaller, but just as heavy. Okay. Uh, well, I've got another friend, James, who lives here in Tasmania, who's an old war gaming buddy of mine, and he he's really into the Anglo Zulu War. So I wonder whether he would be interested in having some of those Zulus to put together himself. I'm not sure. I have to ask him unless he sees this video. <laughs> okay, so I've got some packaging. Stand up, easy to stand up again. Okay, okay. What's this? There's a section here that's taped off. Oh, there's some. Ooh, some oh, some painted stuff that. This got base coats on it and stuff by the looks of it oh I think what we might have in here guys is there are some artists I think we've got some sedan sedan miniatures yeah it definitely looks like and that's the size base I use as well generally 25 mil round MDF. So here's some sort of standard bearer. Huh? Oh wow, look, he's even got one of these um casualty trackers, you know, with the with the numbers in it. And that's a metal, that's a metal um peri miniature, I assume. Wow, for the wound marker. I guess it must be to mark. Track wounds on a unit or something. Oh, wow. So much amazing stuff in here. Because I think the idea will be, I'll, I'll see what, what he's actually put in here, and then I can, from there, because um, I've still, you know, as I said, I had was given some money for my birthday, so then I'll be able to see what's in here, and, you know, just pick up other bits and pieces um, to sort of fill... Fill the gaps or, or what? I don't know. Um, wow, so in here, so there's another, there's a, oh, it's a bit bent, but there's a a wound marker here, um, one of these wound trackers for a British soldier, 
So at least he's got some sort of spear sticking out of him. So it's got the numbers on it as well. I can see another one of those in there too. Actually, there's a oh, there's, there's a few of them, um, and some yeah more plastic uh, martists I think. Uh, more of these wound trackers for the British. Fantastic! Look at that. Yeah, so there's a yeah. I think we've got a combination of metal wound trackers, which there seem to be several, and. Plastic Martists, oh, that's a little bit broken, but hopefully that should be repairable. Yeah, that's grand. Yeah, a bit hard to see, but you can probably get a general idea that what's in there from that angle. Now, in this other side here, um, there's some more stuff. Um, yeah. Oh, far out. There's this huge bag full of, what is it? What is that? Oh, it's British cavalry. I wonder if these are, now I think he said um, the miniatures on the whole were, um, there was Perry and there was Empress and there was Foundry. I wonder if that's, so that's a British colonial cavalryman. This is, might be one of the Hussar units. I wonder if that's a foundry. Because it looks kind of chunky-ish. I'm not sure. Some of you might know. You might have a bit, bit, bit hard to see probably on camera. But Yeah, look at that cavalry. It's got his carbine there. Oh wow, yeah, so yeah, Perry, Empress, and Foundry Miniatures, quality stuff, really quality stuff, so oh, a significant number of cavalry there, this guy with his pistol raised, fabulous, so that is all British cavalry, man alive, that is amazing, oh, actually here, this looks like, is it a Natal, um, guy, uh, or native cavalry or something like that. He's got a bush hat on. He's got some spears on his back or something. Uh, yeah, there, there might be some, some of this might be Zulu War, some is Mardis, like the Mardis Rebellion. Um, it's a variety, yeah, I think that's a Natal. Okay, yeah. Just need to straighten, straightening up the barrels and things. So wow, look at that. Now I've got some some sorting out to do here, guys. I have to go out in under an hour to go and um, see my dad. So, but this will be here waiting for me to um, have a good old ferret through. And in this bag, we have. We have British infantry. Now, he's got a spike on his. Oh, I don't know. He might be this. Is it maybe his gun broken? And he might be foundry. I'm not sure if they're Zulu War or later. Blue's still wet. Oh, how strange. That's odd. The um, PVA is still damp. <laughs> They've come all this way and there's, there's still damp PVA on the base. What'd you do, James? Did you take them off some bases or something? How amazing. Yeah, so this, yeah. Maybe Sulu War era British, I'm not sure. Better, you know, give them a wash off uh, and have a bit of a look. Closer look, see, I'm trying to figure out. Because I, I can't tell exactly from 
I know that the Zulu War British tended to have that little knot on the wrist. There may be Zulu War. Maybe. But, you know, I'm, I want to do a fairly generic colonial thing that sort of allows me to do lots of different sort of regions, eras. Not sort of cross over a bit. Oh my goodness, what else have we got? Oh! What's that? What's that? I see a camel. Ah, look, it's a, a Marvis type dude um, on a on a camel, fuzzy wuzzy on a camel. Sorry, I'm not using the correct terms. I got a book actually. I was going to do a video just about books because over the last couple of months I seem to have acquired a number of books. <laughs> Um, either as gifts or that I've picked up second hand or um, or bought new that um, I need, probably need to do a separate video on them uh, including my son bought me a copy of um, Go Strong Into the Desert by uh, Mike Snook um, which will be a great reference um, for the Sudan campaign so yeah I wonder if that, that's probably a Perry miniature Oh, there's a loose spear in there. Okay, so yeah, that's another cavalryman for that. And another one there. Another camel. And another rider. He's he's blasting some sort of horn there. James must have taken these off bases and stuff because it's still got that bit of MDF on them or something. I think he he has um a collection already. I, I got the impression that, that these were sort of surplus, so I, I guess he's got a pretty substantial collection here he and his dad. Um oh, lovely figures. Oh yeah, that's the guy rider for the other camera. And oh, that's some sort of leader dude. Hmm. Some Iman or something like that. What's that mean? A spear or a standard. And it goes on. Um, and it's very exciting. Now, oh, wow. More Zulu war stuff? No, it says, oh, it says Zulu on the clips your bag. Oh, wow, some little vignettes. Ah, is this like from Rock's Drift or something? He's, um, looks like he's giving a drink to a wounded guy, isn't he? I'll have to look on the Perry site and see if I can identify some of these. I say it looks like a big Zulu chieftain there. Oh yeah. There's something on the bottom, but can't really make it out. Oh. James, did you know that you put some teeny weeny guys in here? Are these, um, they might have got in there by accident. There's some, um, look at 15 mil. Oh, there's another guy. Well, these seem slightly larger. I wonder if these are rigged out. They seem kind of chunky. I'll have to do a comparison later. And then <laughs> it looks like there's some tiny little. I think they're 15 mil, they may even be 10 mil. Little World War II dudes in there. I wonder what they are. I don't know if you meant to put them in there, James, did you? But they were in the bag, I'm not sure. 
Yeah, it might be 15 now. That's true. It's not ugly. Oh, wow. And there's one more bag. One more bag. Okay. I'll just move this for temporarily. That looks like a foundry miniature. Or is it an artisan? That looks like, like a darkest Africa kind of dude. Ah, yes, that as well. That chap, that, these look like um, they're re reminiscent of the Congo figures. Or art, artisan or cobblestone, I'm not sure. Well, that's a different sculpt again. I think there's a few different manufacturers in here. Yeah, the bearded adventurer dude. Nice. And there's some sort of African guy. Is he meant to be a bearer or something? Maybe I don't know. There's another darkest Africa sort of characters. Oh, him too, probably. Oh, this chap reminds me a bit of Tarzan, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure who he is, but he's reminds me of Tarzan. Yeah, I reckon he's one of the this, uh, expedition. Yep, yep, yep. Some native sort of um, guys on an expedition. Oh, there's another. I wonder if that's a foundry British officer. Mayhap. Another darkest Africa type. So we've got a lovely mix of figures. A great basis for um. Oh, he's got a um. He shot a gazelle and he's got it over his shoulder or something. So some sort of hunter guy. Uh, another British infantryman. Someone's rifled musket. Uh, another Africa. Guy, I guess. Ah, uh, yes, another British officer. Yeah, there's one of the darkest Africa guys. Another bit. Oh, a piper. There's a piper there. British officer type, another bushman with his slouch hat, and another British guy, another one, yeah, wow, wow, amazing, really, really amazing, um, I've got um, so much to sort through here, but it's just brilliant. I'm <laughs> blown away. Okay, guys, um, it's probably gone on for long enough uh, for you guys. <laughs> um, um, I'll be coming back to this and investigating and 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 cleaning up and 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 seeing what's there and and it should be great fun, great fun. The start of um, a new project. <laughs> um, I have dabbled with colonials before, as I've mentioned previously. Um, but just at the moment, I've been, for myself, I've been trying to get through some more of my Lord of the Rings, um, my old Bendel uh, dwarves and orcs and things like that. And um, making decent progress with that. There might be some pictures along the line of those um, when I get those done. But um, yeah, I'll uh, lift it down from there. That'll, um, I'll leave it there for the moment. Um, nearly run to half an hour. Um, hopefully I, I can convince this to upload um, from a smartphone. 
Um, but thanks for watching. I hope you found it interesting. Um, go and subscribe to Exiles Painting. Um, and um, I'll catch you again soon. See ya.